We are the UT Women's Indoor Soccer Club, and you're watching Inside the Shield. Spartan fans, welcome back to another episode of Inside the Shield. I'm your host, Tori Wright. We had a busy week for Tampa athletics as softball, tennis, women's lacrosse, men's lacrosse, and baseball were all in action. Softball played a pair of games on Tuesday against NYIT in Claremont, Florida. Tampa won game one by a final of 8 to nothing in six innings. Alyssa Bache threw a complete game one hitter and Serena Cortez led the offense with three hits. Lari Kaseka picked up a game-high three RBI in the game. In the second game of the doubleheader, Tampa dropped a close game by a final score of 4-3. to three. The Spartans will be back in action this Friday and Saturday as they head to West Palm Beach to take on Palm Beach Atlantic. The baseball team played four games this past week. They traveled to Valdosta State and to Embry-Riddle for three games. Against the Blazers at Valdosta State, the Spartans fell 7-6 after VSU scored a run in the bottom half of the ninth inning. The Spartans dropped two of three games to Embry-Riddle. The two victories for the Eagles came off walk-offs. The lone win for UT came on Thursday night as they defeated the Eagles 14-10. The Spartans will be back in action Friday and Saturday as they welcome in Florida Tech for an SEC series. The two met last year in the NCAA Regional Final where UT won advance to the NCAA Championship Series. The tennis team played a pair of SSC games this week. They fell to Florida Southern 5-4 and fell to 29th ranked Florida Tech. The Spartans will have a tough week coming up. On Wednesday, they travel to St. Leo as they take on the third-ranked Lions. And on Saturday, they will take on second-ranked Barry Bucks down in Miami Shores. Good luck, ladies. On Tuesday night, the women's lacrosse team faced off against Mercy College, handing the Mavs their second loss of the season. The Spartans took a 10-9 win, where Amanda Voges led the Tampa Spartans as she scored four goals, including the game winner with three minutes left. In goal, Kaylee Gilday was all over the pipes, totaling a season-high 15 saves. Liz Kramer recorded a career-high six draw controls. The team will be back in action Saturday as they travel to Lakeland to face off the Florida Southern Mocs. The Mocs were the Sunshine State Conference champions last year. The game is set for 1 p.m. The third-ranked men's lacrosse team hosted Adams State Friday night at the Namoli Family Complex. The Spartans defeated the Grizzlies 20-3. The 20 goals were a season high for UT. Mike Morris tied a career high as he netted six goals in the game. Connor Whipple dished out seven assists, picking up his 100th career assist. Alex Patton won a perfect nine for nine in the face-off circle. Tampa is back in action on Friday as they welcome Florida Southern. The game is set to begin at 8 p.m. Congratulations to women's swimmers Sophie Long and Michaela Ayers on being named to the Women's Sunshine State Conference second team. Also congratulations to Tommy Reminger and Jeremy Parker on being named to the Men's Swimming SSC second team. Thank you for watching this week's episode of Inside the Shield. I'm your host, Tori Wright. See you next week, Tampa. Go Spartans!